Galahad, come in. Galahad, acknowledge this is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks at Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous at the United India House with Egrain and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion's secondary ordnance should help. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got that out. Good day, sir. It befell in the days of Uther Pendragon, when he was king of all England, and so reigned that there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him long time. And the duke was called the Duke of Tintagil. And so by means, King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. So when the duke and his wife were come unto the king, by the means of great lords, they were accorded both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he made them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. And then she told the duke her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonored. Wherefore, husband, I counsel you, that we depart from hence suddenly, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, we kindly request that you proceed to the officers in charge.
from the fire. Negative. Same here. He's probably off somewhere gallivanting. Being, well, himself. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. children at home and I need to see them. I do understand, ma'am, but that section of the city is off limits to civilians currently. Then send a constable there. No, I cannot do that, sir. Why not? Oh, can you at least tell me they're safe? All I can say is that we've asked everyone to remain inside their homes. So you've spoken with them? Not directly. Then how can you assure me they're safe? What if our daughter wanders outside? What are we to do then? Do you have any idea who my husband is? It's all right, are you a doctor, Mom? No, but my father is. I've seen plenty of people struggle with this condition. Possible this man needs medical attention. Unfortunately, ma'am, all medical personnel are currently unavailable. See that you cordon off the entire district, and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. And I cares to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites, running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was? You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Gray, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love? Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble? The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. Down. Let's reload. 
Move on. We're clear. Down. Get out of here. Find some weapons. You two, get your asses over here. I need help. Come on. Go. Let's go, you bloody bastards! Kill up the rifle would be more appropriate. Escapee down! More escapees coming from the alley. Some are heading for the atrium. in the courtyard. It's on the stairs. Escape being neutralized. Shit. Target down. I need to reload. Enemy down. <laughs> oh, well, shit. Escape me down. I can hear more commotion inside. Hurry. More bedlamites inside. Stun! Take the shot! Are you all right? Damn it! Oh, God. They're slaughtering them. Ready? Just get rid of this scum. Smoke grenades. Right. Target down. The bomb is Thank you. 
escape be down. There were more on the level above. We need to get up there. Got it! We should clear the second floor. Everything to your liking thus far? Quite. Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. Ladies first. Get to shoot a few of them rich folk. Escape me down! Room clear! down. You too. Sir. Downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raphael is in the next room. You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city he won't try to seduce? Well, he's your problem now. Do try not to lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Oh. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Well, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur. A man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Ah. 
possible. Let's go. It's about time. Marquis, you and Lady Grain take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. We miss you. Sir. to all knights in the vicinity of Mayfair. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escaped patients. Acknowledge. I had a feeling I'd beat you here. Remember, you thought it was hell. I slew most of them. The last one got away. Hey, Grain, I need your arm gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Thank <laughs> you. 
us safe. We need to press forward. Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. <laughs> ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Whitechapel. Uh, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly, and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis. Ne ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed Sir by Percival. your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. That's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. <laughs> 